You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in Morocco yesterday on a private visit. His Majesty was welcomed by His Royal Highness Prince Maulai Rashid. His Majesty the King has left Bahrain earlier in the day. In the presence of the chairman of the High Committee of the Rashidi Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the club held yesterday the season's 20th race at its race course in Rafah. Their Highnesses, the sheikhs and representatives of the sponsors attended the eighth round course, held over the cups of His Majesty the King's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Arab Shipbuilding and Repair Yard Esri, and the Rashidi Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa was presented with a trophy of the cup of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa by the Executive Director of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, following the success of his horse Alejandro in winning the seventh round. Meanwhile, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa crowned trainer James Naylor, the winner of the His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa's Cup. Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa also presented the trophy of His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Hamad Al Khalifa's Cup for Arabian horses to winning trainer Yusuf Al Bu'aini and that of His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Hamad Al Khalifa to trainer Nasser al mumin the winner of the fourth round. Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa also presented the trophies of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club's Cups to trainer Alan Smith and His Highness Sheikh Sultan al bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, the winners of the fifth and sixth rounds respectively. Esri's managing director, Mazen Matar, crowned owner Abdul Rasul Hassanin, the winner of Esri Cup.
The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Chairman of the Small and Medium Enterprises Development Board, Mr. Zaid Ben Rashid Zayani, has praised the achievements and the efforts exerted by the SMEs since its launch three years ago. During the past three years, development strategies initiatives have been implemented by 60% of the total proposed projects which come within the framework of the support of the small and medium enterprises. Mr. Zayani noted that these initiatives would positively reflect on the entrepreneurship and innovation system in Bahrain and keep pace with the current changes. Relentless endeavors continue to fulfill the government's aspirations to develop a stimulating climate for entrepreneurship and innovation, which aims at enhancing the competitiveness and sustainability of small and medium enterprises based on Bahrain's 2030 economic vision through diversifying the economy that is capable of competing globally. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, the SEW, Halal Ansari, has revealed that Bahraini women account for 49% of the workforce in the kingdom, surpassing the global average of this indicator at 47%. She also pointed out that the rate of Bahraini women assuming executive positions has reached 46% in the government sector and 34% in the private, while their presence in the boards of directors in private companies has reached 17% in the same period. Al Ansari was speaking during the virtual Ministry Roundtable themed Getting to Parity, Good Practices Towards Achieving Women's Full and Effective effective participation and decision-making in public life held on the sidelines of the 65th session of the Commission on the Status of Women at the UN. She indicated that the efforts supporting women's advancements in the kingdom have made a quantum and unprecedented leap in the kingdom within the national reform process that began two decades ago, noting that the focus has been on the resumption of women's participation in the political life and the decision-making process in public life based on gender equality in line with the constitutional provisions and the kingdom's international obligations such as the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action to the the Sustainable Development Goals 2030. She affirmed that 20 years after the establishment of the SCW as the official reference of women's affairs and issues in the kingdom, Bahrain has adopted policies that have enabled women to take part in developing their society and nation. Lansari highlighted the kingdom's strides in empowering women, including the creation of a work environment that embraces and supports the sustainability of women's participation in the labor market. She also shed light on Bahrain's achievements in the fields of social protection and family stability, including the revision and creation of 147 laws and legislations related to to women. And Ansari stressed that despite the major strides it has made in advancing women towards reaching women's full involvement in public affairs, Bahrain is determined to carry on its efforts to enhance women's status, citing the ongoing efforts to maintain women's participation in the sustainable development process in the midst of the spread of the novel coronavirus pandemic. Concluding her statement, Al Ansari said that the Kingdom is looking forward to broadening joint cooperation and exchanging expertise in order to provide the necessary support for women. The Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemns the Iranian-backed terrorist Houthi militia's launching of drones towards the oil refinery in the city of Riyadh in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, targeting energy security and civilian facilities in the Kingdom in continuous violations of international humanitarian law. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs affirmed Bahrain's solidarity with Saudi Arabia against all attempts targeting its security and safety. It stressed the need for the international community to assume its responsibilities in condemning the criminal terrorist acts carried out by the Houthi militia that threaten regional security. The excitement level is about to go up a notch as Bahrain International Circuit kicks off its final countdown to start the 2021 FIA Formula One World Championship with the Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix weekend. The highly anticipated sporting and social extravaganza takes place at the home of motorsports in the Middle East on March the 26th to the 28th. All eyes will be on Sakhir for the first of a record 23 rounds on this year's F1 season calendar. Tickets to this year's F1 weekend are now available for all vaccinated or COVID-19 recovered individuals. Comprehensive measures will be in place at the circuit at all times to ensure spectators can enjoy the excitement of F1 in a safe environment. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 396,356 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 230,395 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 6,688 active cases with 626 recoveries and 731 registered new cases. 251 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 451 were contacts of active cases, and 29 were travel-related. The Ministry of Health also announced today three deaths. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.